Hi, this is Ernie Pascal with the third screencast for Scrum Time. Today I want to talk about the process for creating the product backlog. Let's start with the same screen that we left off with in the previous screencast, screencast number two. Here you see that I have the product Scrum Time, and here is the description that I entered last in that episode. So let's switch over to the backlog, and notice here we have the product selection is currently empty, so we need to select scrum time. This is a bug and it will be fixed in a future release. So let's create an item. Uh, let's create a login screen uh, task to do or backlog item. Let's set the work estimate to be 4 and we'll assign it to myself and then hit save. So as you can see this item is now in the list and I would like to create a second item. The second item I'm just going to show you can just put in the title and nothing else. Uh, you don't have to specify the work estimate description or who it's assigned to and it'll it'll be saved there. So we're going to add another item and let's say we have a salesperson that wants some new functionality added and this is just some functionality that just seems like they want everything including the kitchen sink. So we're going to put a big estimate on that and save it without assigning it to anyone. I think I want to create just one more of these. We'll do something like create user uh, domain classes uh, so that we can show some of the sorting capabilities of the backlog. Maybe assign maybe eight hours. And we'll save that. Notice that there's a total in this list. The total is currently 42. 30 of which has come from the salesperson's request, so I would like to make the priority of that lower than everything else. So I do that by pressing this arrow button. It moves it down, as you can see. It has now moved it to the end. So as I look through the rest of this list, I realize that the, the task of designing the login screen should go before the task of creating a login screen. So I decide that I want to move that item up in priority above the create login screen. So again I just press the up arrow button for this and as you can see it's moved up. The next example is to show that you can repetitively press the up arrow button to move the item up in priority or repetitively press the down arrow button to move it down in priority. However it makes a lot more sense to just have an index that you can go directly to so therefore if I want to move this to the first priority item I would put a 1 in this field here and then press the set button. So if you notice this is item number four and when I press the set now item number four is in the first position. The last thing I'd like to show is the process of editing an item. So here I'm just going to change uh, this hours to from an eight to a four and I'm going to assign it to myself. Notice the list has been updated including the total work estimate. Well, this completes the goals that I wanted to accomplish in this screencast, so thank you very much.